former employees of companies like Google, Apple, Tesla, Cruise Automation, other tech giants, around 40 formers in total. They have formed a new San Francisco-based company called Auto. One goal in mind, it's to revolutionize the tractor trailer industry here in the U.S. Now, Auto, it aims at turning the commercial trucks into self-driving freight haulers. You heard me correctly. We have a video clip of one of these unmanned vehicles on the road. Take a look. Nick, there's no driver. There's no driver, and they better have like some sensor on the outside so that when you go like this, the horn goes off. Oh, right. I mean, more importantly, though, we, we see you know major fatalities. I live in one of those states where we we have you know where I'm an interstate state, so yeah. uh, a lot of fatality on the evening news every night. You know, somebody getting hit by a tractor trailer, and the fact that self-driving or making these more responsible. What do you make of though? The job aspect of uh, people, you know, earning a, earning a living as a truck driver in this country is pretty decent, mm -hmm. and that could affect a lot of people. It's going to affect a lot of people because a lot of states are interstate states, <laughs> Who right? Who these tech Silicon Valley jerks think they are taking jobs away from? <sighs> no, no, no. Uh, from from a trucker standpoint, that's obviously how they're going to look at it. These guys sitting in their Silicon office valleys, you know, thinking, hmm. Let's get rid of truckers next. Mm -hmm. Let's take their jobs away because eh, it's not necessary. We don't need it. Well, truckers are obviously going to see that differently, but if I'm going to be frank here, uh, it's inevitable. And these are things that are just going to have to change, and it's going to be tough at first, losing jobs to robots, but mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but it's, it's just the direction that we're moving in, and unfortunately, truckers are the, are the next ones to get swallowed up by. I don't know if I would trust a self-driving car. I mean, I love the idea, the concept's fantastic. You could see what this could do for for our country. I mean, we you know drunk driving accidents yeah. and, and senseless fatalities and people on their phones. But at the same time, there's nobody behind the freaking wheel of that car. Well, um, but it's, it's weird. It's weird getting used to it and seeing it the same way somebody probably looked at an airplane the first time and said, "Hell no, I ain't never getting in that thing." Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's kind of normal to us, right? I trust a self-driving car much more than I do, you know, Susie who's texting with one hand, drinking coffee with her foot, and doing 20 other right. things driving, which I see every day, whether you're drunk or not. Right. People are doing that every single day, and that terrifies me a lot more than, you know, a they're, computer. They're tackling the drunken, distracted driving aspect. They're also, though, possibly killing jobs. We're talking about this company that um, was Not entirely... Possibly, for sure. For sure. I'm trying to be positive here. Entirely self-funded right now um, without any external investment. They're doing this on their own. Uh, oh, report. these little companies like Apple and Tesla, well, they're, they're, they're doing employees. it by their own. There are 40, 40 of these uh, you know, men and women got together and they're like, we're going to make a self-driving car. And I, I just want to point out that many of um, Otto's founders, speaking of how well they've done for themselves over the past years, it shows that it, it says something that this company is, is being entirely self-funded out of their personal pockets. Yeah. They know where this is going. Um, self-driving car, it's a, it will be a commercial product. They say that it's going to be a small fraction of the truck's $100,000 to $300,000 sticker price, so really expensive truck. But if you think about it, a truck, um, a traditional truck, it only goes about a million miles, 10 years on the road, and it's done anyway. Yeah. And this, uh, a lo you know, a lofty investment, but it could really revolutionize the way we see the trucking industry. Oh, Fatalities sure. along with jobs, unfortunately. The company's called Auto. If you haven't seen that advertisement in, in its entirety, check it out. It's pretty awesome, and it looks like we could be self-driving freighters on the road any day now.